Pan, the god of the woods, had always been a divinity neglected by his peers. Nonetheless, after inventing the pan flute, his musical talent was about to flourish and the god began to be followed and respected wherever he was. Pan used to wander through the woods and fields with his new friend, King Midas. The latter was known for his ability to transform into gold everything he touched, but his talent proved to be a true curse. However, after having his golden touch removed by Dionysus, Midas started to repudiate the vile metal and lived a simple life in the woods. He met Pan there and both became great friends. The ego of the god of the woods started to grow with each praise he got for those who listened to his songs. Pan started to believe that he was the greatest musician who had ever lived and bragged about it. Even Apollo's lyre is obscured by the magnificent sound of my flute. Since he is so incredible, why doesn't he challenge me to a musical duel? My friend, posing such a challenge to Apollo is not wise. After all, he is the god of music. Which side are you on? You know we are friends. I support you. Pan's challenge reached the ears of Apollo, who promptly accepted it and departed to the location where the clash was scheduled to take place. So are you the one who has been spreading rumors that you can defeat the god of music in a duel? The god of music? The sun god? The god of philosophy? You have accumulated many roles, but I will unburden you from one of those. You would not even be able to defeat Orpheus, my mortal son, let alone the great Apollo. The gods, nymphs, and other creatures of the forest gathered to listen to what would be the greatest musical clash ever. Pan grabbed his flute and began his performance. His ability was remarkable. The melody thrilled all of those who heard him. The god of the woods ended his music and was congratulated with a standing ovation. He would hardly be defeated. But the god Apollo was not impressed and, after tuning his lyre, started to perform his music. The chords of the god were beautiful. The harmony was an absolute. No other sound could be more divine. The gods yelled, Bravo! The eyes of the nymphs dropped tears of emotion. His victory appeared obvious. The Olympians indicated Apollo as the winner. The nymphs and fauns, despite having enjoyed both of them, also chose the sun god. It was time for Midas to give his victor. He looked at his friend, and he uttered his voting. Today, Apollo has moved everyone to his music but Pan's flute was nothing less than perfect. So, I declare Pan as the superior one. Midas knew that Apollo had already won the contest, and so he decided to cast a vote of consolation to his friend. But he did not expect Apollo's reaction, who wanted to humiliate Pan with a unanimous win. The god approached Midas and said, You appear to be interested in music, but I believe your ears do not seem to help you. But I can solve that. Apollo replaced the ears of Midas with donkey ears. There you go. With these brand new ears, anyone will recognize you as the great music critic you are.